Hi there, and welcome back to Pinch of Cooking. Today we're making these delicious baked chicken drumsticks. It's an easy recipe that my family loves, and the drumsticks always come out with tasty skin and perfectly tender meat. As always, all the ingredients in the full recipe is included below the video. So we will start this recipe with taking a heavy bottom baking pan or a cast iron skillet. I don't have that many drumsticks, so they will all fit into my cast iron skillet, which heats and maintains temperature very evenly. Pour some cooking oil to cover the bottom of the pan and place the pan in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius to preheat. While the pan is preheating, let's get our chicken drumsticks out and I already patted them down with paper towel to make sure they're dry. And let's get our dry rub seasoning ready. I'm going to use salt, black pepper, paprika, dry garlic, you could try dried onion too, and you could also add some chili powder or cayenne pepper if you like a little heat on these. This is actually very similar to the recipe I use when I make chicken wings. Coat your chicken in spices, and you can even do this ahead of time and put them in the fridge for a few hours to give the chicken time to absorb the flavor. Now let's sprinkle the chicken with regular all-purpose flour. And for my gluten-free friends, I'm using here Bob's Red Mill flour, one for one. So let's close our container with a tight-fitting lid and give it a good shake. You could also do this with a Ziploc bag. Let's get our baking pan out of the oven and remember the pan is super hot so use a mitten. Place the drumsticks in, carefully coating each one in oil from all sides. Try not to overcrowd them too much because we want the skin to get crispy. Now the chicken goes in the oven for 20 minutes. Here. And after 20 minutes, we're gonna take them out, flip them, and they go back in for 30 to 35 minutes. Mine are done and smell and look amazing. Thank you so much for watching and let me know what you think about the recipe in the comments.